my channel my name is divine and if you're not new welcome back for today's video guys i'm gonna be doing a review i think it's been two years so it's a two-year review wear and tear on my bag which is the louis vuitton bum bag i have purchased this two years ago to 2020 january of 2020 when we were in florida for my birthday right before the pandemic and i just realized sorry guys hold on and and i just realized that i haven't done any video in regards to this bag one reason because it was the pandemic and i kind of just lost there's a lot of things that happened in 2020 and i kind of lost the energy and motivation to just film and also we i just focused my energy and time into getting our house so anyways and i was so i was as i was going through my videos i realized i haven't really done a bag review aside from the one that i just did with the mark jacobs i haven't done uh, any videos in regards to this bag aside from when i revealed it to you guys so for today's video guys i'm gonna i'm going to be doing a two-year review wear and tear on my bum bag and this is actually a bag that i didn't think i was going to keep long term when i got this one my husband actually got this one for my birthday and at that time I, I already told him i was like don't be mad if i end up selling this bag because i feel like it's very trendy and i'm not the type to actually buy i'm not the type of person who actually buys trendy things especially if it's that pricey because i just don't know if it's actually gonna i'll be able to make up basically get my money back or not and i thought i was like oh i think it's really gonna suit my lifestyle i really like it and my husband really liked the the bag that's the reason why he's all all about it and he's like no i'm gonna go get it for you so with that being said i still have it it's been two years it's actually one of my most used bags in the last two years so i can actually tell you guys that i have used this one quite a bit i've gotten the, my money's worth in this bag already because i've used her so much so much in the past two years so i have so i have on my ipad the information that i needed to tell you guys uh i this one right now with the price increase that just happened a couple of weeks ago this one retails for two thousand and thirty dollars ridiculous i did get this one in 2020 and if i'm not mistaken i couldn't really find the exact retail price for it but i believe it was 1550 1550 dollars or 1590 between those but out with after taxes and everything um, we paid $1,672.05. This was in Florida back in 2020. And this is made in France. This bag is made in France. I'll show you guys right here. Is it showing? I hope it's showing but it is made in france i did get a a Zumoni organizer for this one which is hold on i have i just used this bag like yesterday so i have quite a bit of stuff over here but that is my organizer for this bag and as you can tell um i did get the monogram i didn't i did try on the 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 leather version of this one it was just a little bit smaller than this that's the reason why i got this one and i do like the monogram i was initially scared because of the vaquetta um leather that you know watermarks and everything but after a while i i've really been enjoying using this so i didn't really care and so far i've used her i think it patinaed really good the only thing that i noticed is just because i've always had it a certain length so now i moved it this was just the other day when i moved it as you can tell it has like that um uneven color where like the actual strap was so now i'm just trying to um trying to even out the color so 
hopefully it works out but I still love it nevertheless I do mostly wear this one crossbody like this I have recently been using it like a shoulder bag like so like so I I do quite enjoy using it that way recently and yeah I really love this bag for the wear guys I already told you guys to patina it patina really well as you can t as you can see for the most part it is pretty even there are some like scratch marks over here but come on focus guys focus but you can hardly tell unless you're like really staring at it but I'm the only one that's using this so I don't really I notice it but other people don't and I do have some watermark like watermark stains over here please excuse my nails and I already showed you guys this one, but it's fine. I didn't use any Apple Guard on this product. I should have, but I didn't. The hardware, as you can tell, it is gold. I wouldn't say it's all scratched up. Surprisingly, it's not that scratched up. It looks pretty good for the amount of use that I've used this all the all the hardware actually looks pretty amazing even the back one this is how it looks like in the back it has a back zipper and you can tell that it still looks pretty good even the zipper <laughs> the zipper is so nice i have never had any issues trying to unzip it or zip it back it doesn't get stuck or anything like that the the back pocket is actually very spacious. I usually use it to to put or place my phone in there just because it's easier to grab instead of like opening the front. And the front or basically the main compartment usually holds my like say lotion, my, my wallet or my card case, my AirPods and stuff like that. But even the inside for the amount of use it has it looks very very nice it's pristine um given the fact that i did get the zamoni i actually just got the zamoni organizer for this one in 2021 so the whole entire 2020 and half of 2021 i didn't have a zamoni organizer for this one at first i didn't want to because i was like i was just afraid that it was gonna i'm gonna lose a lot of space inside the bag but honestly it worked out really good and i mean if you guys don't want to you don't have to because without even without it i was i was happy using it without it for a year and a half and i didn't have any problem so also i was showing you guys like the the hardware even for even after two years they're still very very shiny um they're still very shiny and the canvas is also the canvas for this bag is also very very soft i don't have any problem with the canvas there is, i haven't had any cracking or any glazing issues any stitching issues i don't have that and like i said i've used this and i wouldn't say abused it but i've used it quite a lot i've e i even wore this Every time we go to, well, a few times that we've went to Universal Studios, I've worn this one. And it's, even when we went to Disneyland recently, I wore this one. And we went on a a wet ride or like the ones that has like, oh, like a water ride. There you go. What I did was I just put it inside like this and I had my jacket and covered it in jacket so that the patina or the vachetta doesn't, doesn't get, um, stained with water so it helped out but one of that's one of the reasons why i'm actually saying that i really love this bag because i use it all the time and now i really want to get it in the leather just in case you know i go to i love when we go take the kids to any amusement parks i like to have to be hands-free aside from like having a crossbody i actually enjoy having like a um a bag like this 
where you can just put it around and not worry about anything and it's everything is so accessible and um yeah so that's one of the reasons why i want to get the the leather version of this one it took me a while to figure out where the the date code is located it's actually in the back if you guys don't know it's actually in the back pocket and it's on the side the left if you're looking at it if it's like this it's on this side so inside in the back you can see it right here the date code is right there so just for information I do dress up my bags I'll probably insert some pictures over here how I usually dress them up I do like to put accessories on them I quite enjoy doing that and yeah I I just can't believe how much I love this bag like I told you guys earlier initially when um, when I got this one I wasn't planning to keep it long term I was actually planning to sell it probably like later on but now it's gonna be in my 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 collection forever it's it's one of my most used bags my go-to bag and I do want another one that's a leather it's just so that I don't have to worry about the the Vachetta and I don't know if I showed you guys the details. Let's talk about the details of the bag. I showed you guys the, the hardware earlier. On the zipper or the hardware zipper in the front, you can see that it is gold and you see LV detailing right there. It's the same thing for the zipper in the back. You can see LV and the buckle over here it's very nice come on focus and it says it says lv or louis vuitton okay it does say louis vuitton right there and there's this bottom right bottom um hardware right here I honestly don't know what it's for. I asked the girl at the the, the the SA that helped me in Florida. She couldn't really explain it to me. And um, yeah, to, she really couldn't explain it to me. But I like it. I like having it there because when I have my accessories, I just connect it to this one. And it looks really cute. And let me just show you guys. Let me show you guys how I pack this one I have hold on so I have my stuff right here and I just basically put it like so and usually I don't know where my phone went I usually have my camera in here as well fits quite a bit so I have my phone this is um, an iPhone 12 Pro Max and it fits perfectly in the back there's still quite some space on each side so that's how I use it you can also use it As a shoulder bag you can also use it as a shoulder bag like so I really quite enjoy that and and yeah that's it guys anyways I hope you guys enjoyed this video let me know on the comment section down below if this bag is on your wish list and or if you already have it and which material do you guys prefer do you guys prefer the leather or the canvas and is it a bag that you would want to keep in your collection forever or is it going to be a bag that you just want for right now so anyways i i hope you guys enjoyed this video please give me a thumbs up on this video 
Also, subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet. Follow me on my socials. I'm mostly active on Instagram, so I'll be linking all my socials down below. And I will be... I know this is hard to find, so I will be link. I will be linking... <coughs> Sorry, guys. Anyways, like I was saying, I know this is hard to find, so I will be linking um links down below if i find this one for a reasonable price i wouldn't want to pay for anything over a certain amount so i'll try to find links that um you guys can um check out if you guys wanted to get it so anyways guys i'll see you guys later or i'll see you guys on my next video bye guys <laughs>